I've literally just just been out here, got back to the van, got my stuff and going out again. I decided to search out compositions beforehand, but I left that a bit late, not realising the composition I needed and where I wanted the sun to be was going to be half past six, not the normal sunset time of near to eight o'clock. So I had to get my stuff and I'm going to go straight back, so I just, should just hit it in time a little bit before. I think I've got a little blister coming from all that walking. Obviously my, um, which was supposed to be my like day off doing stuff, um, what I did for enjoyment was walk up a massive hill to get that inversion this morning, but such is life, things you do, things you enjoy. why you get so many visitors. It is a thing of beauty. So I'm finally at Dunstanborough Castle, right behind me. It's not a soul here at a minute, so I've got it all to myself. Just how I like it, although I don't mind bumping into people and having a chat sometimes can help people out and they can help you out and stuff like that so it's, it's nice to be, meet people uh, out and about other photographers but today i've got it to myself and i thought we'd been a friday evening there'd be quite a few more souls up here which is me and a lovely castle so i'm just walking down to one of the compositions that i kind of saw earlier so i were on photo pills and kind of worked out what time the sun would be let me look shining through that window um, and it said about half past six so I'm hoping to get a nice sun star through that window whether I use this picture or not because I've got another composition in mind but I'm gonna see how this works and if the sun's not there and if it's just colors then I can get them uh, a bit further up and get a composition with the colours. So the calibration is way off on this. So I need to do a visual calibration. The sun is about there, somewhere there. Confirm that. And we're gonna be somewhere around there, like maybe there. So we'll just wait maybe half past six about 20 minutes right I think I've worked out <coughs> that although photo pill says it can go in that window 
I don't think it can go in that window. I've got sun rays through that crack right there between that sort of like chimney sort of bit. And if I walk too far down that way to get it in line, there's actually a wall behind the window, so I'm not going to get the light coming through. I'm going to have to um, change what I'm shooting and get the, sh the shot in the crack. So I'm going to have to move up quickly before the sun goes. Oh, madness, madness. What would I do? It's not high enough. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, that was quite dramatic. It's a way like weird, too, too weird shape with a castle to um, to use my filters, my grad filters, because obviously it's a straight line. It darkens the castle too much and things like that. So I don't like using it on obscure objects or shapes, um, unless it's more a definite line. So I'm bracketing um, two stops up and down and um, yeah, I've had to move to try and get the the sun spark, the sun flare um, through that gap because I don't think it's going to go through window. I I have got it. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So if it turns out well, um, listen, let's put it up now. Let's put this picture up now. We'll see how it turned out. Well, photo pill was absolutely perfectly spot on. I actually did get the sun in the window. So all that messing about, I pulled my camera back, had about probably two minutes, not even that, um, to get this shot, and um, wicked. So I have got it. I'm gonna put that on up uh, at the end of the video. So you can see that at the end of the video. But we are nearly at the end anyway. I'm just gonna wait, get some, uh, I'm going to see if we get any colours and get another shot and we'll put them both up when we finish. So, so far, the shoot is going absolutely bob on. Um, I've got uh, my sun stars through the window and through the, the crack. Um, I've just got a lovely shot um, of the sunlight shining on the, the grass and uh, everything in front that was lovely as well um, and I'm just waiting now just waiting to see if we get some colours and then I might have another shot
Right, I think I'm finished for tonight. Got some nice colours. Another shot in bag. But I'm going to go and chill out and uh, get me some rested for the morning and then we'll see what we can get in the morning. morning my lovely nice early morning it's just gone six o'clock we're outside again spending so long here yesterday um feel like it's my home now so yeah we're just outside dunstanborough castle and i've got my shot set up just waiting i've got some reds coming now um just waiting I'll quick show you my composition. So here's my shot for today. I'm at Dunstanborough Castle, just there. And I'm hoping, so I've got this line coming up on the grass. I'm hoping the sun pops up about here, maybe. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. I think I'd need to be a bit more to the right, but then I'll lose that line that I like. So I'm just going to stick it here and um, see how we get on. Hopefully that sun's not bang centre, I need it to right a little. We've got the castle there and we're all set up here. We're just waiting, We've got 10 minutes till sunrise. There's not too much happening at the moment, but we've been through this before, haven't we? And, um, could either get better or worse. So we've got some colour coming now. So I'm going to get these shots all set up and um, I'll come back. I think we've had best of light there um, and I'm gonna hang around a little bit not long probably another 10 to 20 minutes but every morning I've been alarm on for around sort of half four to five o'clock getting out in these locations and it's actually been phenomenal I've caught so much I mean in this week I've done like a, a mild aurora colours when I got a, an aurora alert. What else? I've got Milky Way on a golf course, um, Banbury Castle, Dunstanborough Castle for sunset sunrise. And um, the first one I did was Sycamore Gap, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, with Adrian's wall running straight through right at the back of the tree um, and it's just amazing uh, so yeah I'm gonna wrap this video up um, if you could please like um, the video I know it's a pain sometimes when uh, the link takes you to the YouTube website rather than the app and um, we're all signed in on the bleeding app but we're not signed in on the website and we don't want to go through all that rigmarole so you can actually just press share on that um, and then it brings a link up at the top you just copy that and you can paste it straight into your app um, and it'll bring it up there and you can uh, then comment and like and all that shabazzle um, so yeah 
Right, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you very much for coming along with me. Uh, thank you for watching. I've had a great week. I'm now looking forward to just having a chill out. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you very much, people. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, yeah. I'm a rule, yeah. Turn up for the night. the night. Real thing, she's no average girl. Too fine, oh, she might. She's so yeah. damn fine. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just falls.